Welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about uh, how XOR operation is helpful in our modern block cipher. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about the components like S box and P box. Similarly, XOR is also used as a component in our modern block cipher. Let's try to understand from some properties and then we go into how it is providing invertibility. Now coming to some of the properties, you know, previous classes we clearly discussed about the concepts of group theory, what is identity element and inverse element, hoping you already know those concepts. XOR operation is working as a group, means it is going to provide identity element. You take any binary operation, you take a set of bits, two set of bits, X, XOR of all zeros. It is going to give you x. So that's why this, this value, all zeros, we call it as identity element. Because you take any value here, xor with zeros, you are going to get x. So what's xor operation means? See, this is the xor table from our digital logic design, hoping that you already know 1, 1 means 0, 0, 0 means 0, 0, 1 means 1, 1, 0 means 1. Opposite bits, you are, you are going to get the output as 1. Same bits, you are going to get output as 0. Similarly, XOR operation is going to have existence of inverse element. X, XOR of X, you are going to get the same 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, which means identity element. So that's why existence of inverse for XOR operation. Similarly, XOR operation is going to provide some complement values. Complement X, XOR of X complement, you are going to get all ones. Similarly, X, XOR of all ones, you are going to get X complement. So these are the properties which you, you should remember, which we are going to use in our coming classes. Similarly, XOR operation can be used as a invertibility in our modern block cipher. In our previous classes, we discussed S box, P box. They are all invertible. Means during the encryption, if you use the key and the same key, if you use it in the decryption, it is invertible. You are going to get the plain text. Similarly, we can use the XOR operation as invertibility here. Let's take an example. If you take a plain text and you are going to XOR with the key value, you are going to get ciphertext. Similarly, ciphertext, when you XOR with the key value, you are going to get the plain text. Yes, it works as an invertible. So that's why during the encryption, you do this. During the decryption, you are going to do this. Let's take an example. Plain text P111. If you take key as 101, XOR is 2, you are going to get 010. 11 zero. One one means 0, 10 zero means 1, 11 one one means 0. So this is the cipher text which we are going to get. If you use cipher text and apply key, do the XOR oper operation. 0, 1 means 1, 1, 0 means 1, 0, 1 means 1. You are going to get the plain text. So this is how we are going to use XOR operation and these properties are also used in our coming classes. Hope you understand the basics of XOR operation. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.